Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of Life's Issues with Jesse. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let's not forget that this channel was inspired by my loving sister who is on vacation in heaven because that's what I choose to believe, Pamela. So on today's episode of Sharing Life Issues with Jesse, we are going to be discussing about anger management. Stay tuned. Discussing about five ways you can control or tame your anger. As we all know, anger is also known as rot or rage. It is an intense emotional state involving a very strong, uncomfortable and uncooperative response to a perceived provocation or, or hurt. That means anger um, happened as a result of the fact that someone must have done something to you that you expect that the person will be sorry for. But instead, the person does not even see anything wrong in what he or she has done and things like that to make you very angry because even me myself i will be very angry and anger is a normal emotion when you are angry you have every right to be angry when someone offends you you have every right to be angry so you don't need anybody to come and tell you that oh why are you upset why are you this why are you that because even the holy bible for those of us that are christians Acknowledge the fact that we should be angry. Yes, he said, be angry, but do not sin. Sure you get, like, you have the right to be angry. But the way you, um, the way you undo that anger is what is important. The fact that someone provoke you, the fact that someone made you so mad, the fact that something beyond your control happened does not mean that you're when you get angry, you are wrong. You are not wrong. You have every right to be angry. But the way you actually undo that anger or that emotion is what actually matters. Something happened with my sister, the person behind this channel that inspired me to start this channel. Like, I'm going to tell a story someday, yes, but I still need time to heal. I still need time to heal and so because I don't want to come in front of the camera and start crying. So I still need time to heal. So when I've healed to my satisfaction, then I'm going to tell a story in the most memorable and loving way. Also, I'm still waiting for my subscribers and my views to increase so that because I might even tell the story in a live video so that you can ask your questions. Ask me whatever you want to know about her, how she left, and anything you want to know. So regarding to today's topic, anger, you have every right to be angry. Because when whatever happened to my sister happened, I was mad. I was, anger, anger was an understatement. Like, I was mad. I was very angry. I was very upset. I was angry at everybody, including my mother. And everybody around, my greatest anger was channeled to God. Like, why will you allow something like this to happen? And trust me, God understood that I was angry. Although there are some self-righteous people that are like, don't say like, don't say things like this, don't say things like that. Although when we are angry, we should be careful of what we say. But trust me, you have every right to be angry because you are pained, you are hurt. So don't make people, don't allow people make you feel that, oh, because you are angry or because you are reacting to something, you are crazy. You are not crazy, my dear. You have every right to be angry. But while you are angry, try not to take decisions that will, that you come out regretting in the future because anger is for a while. We can be angry, even if you get angry for a long period of time, you cannot be angry forever. So try to make decisions that, you will not regret. So, um, most times, it's advised that you don't make decisions when you are angry. So, today we'll be discussing about five easiest ways to tame or control your anger. So, the first way to tame or control your anger is to take a deep breath. 
when you are angry, try not to speak. Just breathe. Breathe. Because there are some persons that, oh, when they are angry, they need to speak. Yes, you have the right to speak. But try to take a deep breath. Like, this will help you in controlling your anger. This will help you in controlling the things you say. This will help you in prevent, this will prevent you from saying harmful things that you will later turn out to regret. So just take a deep breath when you are angry. You breathe in, you breathe out. It's very difficult, trust me, but it's the best. So just take a deep breath. You breathe in, you breathe out. You breathe in, you breathe out. Then before you speak, don't be in a hurry to speak. And number two points, once you are calm, express your anger. Some persons, um, the problem some persons are having is because they do not talk. Learn to express your anger once you are calm. Immediately you are calm. Immediately you find that you can actually talk about what happened and handle this situation. Learn to express your anger. If someone does something to you, you go to the person, you talk to the person like, ah, this thing you did, I don't like it. This thing you did, I do not like it. Then that way you feel better. Trust me, because when you, when you keep your anger, locked inside you you have this heaviness in your heart and it's not good for you so learn to calm yourself and express your anger so number three use a um, sense of humor to um, reduce the tension like maybe when you're angry just think about something that will make you laugh because most especially in this our country nigeria like the popular saying goes, Nigeria now cruise. Like when you're upset, just think about something around you, something around that happened that makes you laugh or that will make you laugh. Just release your tension with sense of humor. You can go through comedy videos, you can watch comedy videos, you can watch skits. Just do that to take your mind off whatever it is that is making you upset. Then number four way to tame your anger do not keep grudges do not keep grudges do not keep grudges when someone upsets you you tell the person look you did this to me i do not like it do not keep grudges because when you keep grudges against somebody you are the one that will have a heavy heart you are the one that will be pained you are the one that will have um a, a load in your chest and your heart to bear because we all can all agree that when you are upset with somebody or with something, there's this heaviness in your heart. Whenever you see the person, your heart starts beating fast. That's because you are still carrying the person in your heart. You just have to let go. You have to let go of the heart. You have to let go of the hunger. Learn to forgive. Because when you forgive somebody, you are not doing the person a favor. You are doing yourself a favor. So learn to forgive. And the fifth and final point is Seek help when needed. When you find out that, oh, you can't uh, take a deep breath, so you're trying to take a deep breath, it's not working, you can't be calm, you can't express yourself, sense of humor is never working for you. You're trying not to keep grudges, but you keep getting upset whenever you see the person. Seek help. Seeking help is not a bad thing. Learn to seek help when necessary. Because our emotion, emotional and mental health, is very paramount. It's very important. Some persons are going insane, not because of um, spiritual problem or because of hard drugs or anything. It's because of emotional stress. Life is too short to hold grudges. So when when you need professional help, when you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody, seek help, and trust me, you'll be fine. And here's a bonus point. Remove your mind from the situation of your country. But especially those from Africa, precisely from here in Nigeria, the situation of this country is not encouraging at all. But trust me, you do yourself more good than harm when you remove yourself from the situation of this country. Whatever is happening, just have uh, an optim uh, optimistic view. Like, whatever you see that is going wrong, tell yourself that whatever it is that is happening, all things are working together for my good. Always have this positive proclamation. Okay? So please learn to let go. 
because when you are angry you are caging yourself you are caging your spirit so let's let's go let's let's go thank you very much for joining me on today's episode of life issues with jesse please do not forget to like and comment tell me what you want me to talk about tell me um your issues you want me to discuss and the comment sections are always open for your opinion your opinions are are welcome your respectful criticism are welcome please do not forget to subscribe hit the like button hit the subscribe button thank you so very much for always supporting me thank you for always watching my videos thank you for always supporting me thank you for always subscribing thank you for always sharing god bless you i love you bye